the fact that I'm still watching volleyball now would mean that I, I haven't figured it out. I think I've always been a good watcher and a good listener and not an eager talker. I talk when I have to talk, but otherwise I'm not interested. I don't go out to say, oh, let's meet new people and meet new friends. I think for some people, sounds like a great activity. For me, I like to bring a book and a cigar and go sit in the sun. So what have I learned? I, I think for coaching, what, what I've learned is you have to be yourself. And you can't get too high when it's good. And you can't get too low when it's not good. And you have to realize the most important factor in success in coaching is the players, not the coach. If you have good players, you have a chance. If you don't have good players, you have no chance, but you still have an opportunity to make an impact and you still have an opportunity to make the unit better, but it may not be enough to make your career advance. It may not be enough to be significant in the eyes of the person evaluating you. So you have to just recognize it's always about the player. Now, I have situations where the players think I'm picking on them or something. I don't take their side. And I always have a real simple answer. And the answer is, I'm not picking on you. I'm picking the team over you. Which means the decisions that I make are about the team first. I'll always be available to help a player. But unfortunately, sometimes that means they have to go because it's addition by subtraction that they have to go. And I'll say, I'm going to miss you, but I'd like to help you. And I think there's been, I would say, what do I know now that I, I might've been too loyal as a coach to not take some players out when I should have taken them out when they were playing poorly in really big matches because I looked at their body of work and said, they're hitting 350 for the year. Well, instead of saying they're hitting zero in the match for the national championship, I got to get them out of there. And I, so what do I know now? If you're hitting zero in the national championship match, I think you deserve a nice glass of cold water at the end of the bench. And we'll give somebody else an opportunity to help the team. The things that I would probably do different is I probably made some recruiting decisions where I felt I should recruit somebody to fill in the roster that. I should have just bitten the bullet, not done it and taken the hit for a year or two, instead of trying to balance the team and help the seniors by bringing somebody in to help them have a better junior or senior year where I should have just said, Hey, if you can't get a good player, no player is better than a bad player or no player is better than a player that's not going to develop or no player is better than a player that's not a Penn State player. Probably what happened is that I got lazy in recruiting where I had some players that came to Penn State because we were successful, not because they were willing to do the things they needed to do to be successful, which is part of what they have to do.